At the three-day conference in Iceland in December 2009, the main question was, how can we support the creativity and innovative power of the young, with particular emphasis on how we design our educational systems in order to make this happen? A special invitation was extended to young performing artists and students. These are their answers to the conference question. One important thing I've learned this during these days is that I think that the answer lies within all of us. And I think that if we want to co cooperate and solve a problem, we need to listen to each other. And maybe that's when, we're, uh, when we should learn from the kids and go to come together and play and make a setting where we're comfortable and we're joyful and we're maybe angry and we have, you know, we get, uh, we get involved with our senses and feelings. Uh, and I think that's the best way to learn a thing, to be involved. Uh, so that's why I wrote that we should ask questions because the answer might be in the hands of the young. <laughs> I strongly believe in uh, implementing uh, new media and uh, Web 2.0 solutions in, uh, in the, the educational system so you can share all the great things that is already done in the, in the classroom today. Because I've seen it work and I, and I, and I see uh, that, that, that it's actually made great stuff in, in the classrooms every day so, and it's very, um, it's very motivating for the students to, to share and lift it up in a higher level in the, than the everyday classroom. I think there's, there's a hole in the, in the education system. Because when you, when you finish an education, when you're 16 years old or when you're something, um, you stand somewhere and you know a lot of things. And I think you, you can learn a lot, lot in school um, about arts and craft and everything. But then how to, how to be able to, to live of it someday? How to, get out in the real life. I think there, there's not a really good connection between uh, the school system, the educational system, and the, the real uh, working life. Find your passion, then you will have bigger opportunity to be creative. Uh, I think it's a good uh, part of my education that I have to go at an internship. It's, uh, it's where we go and uh, try the stuff we have been taught if we can use it and how to use it so it come uh, like a normal day life uh, before we end our education. Um, what I'm missing the most in the educational system is time and space. Give us time and space. I need time and space to try my, out my ideas, to make failures and to be able to continue with the ideas that I have and the interests that I have uh, and not always being stopped by the boundaries of like, no, the time is up. And I was in this conference, I was a lot thinking about the economical side of the arts because everything is measured by the money. So, how can we be innovative and creative as long as they don't have the price tags. Teach math in sandboxes. I think that schools and education should, I mean, you should put creativity in all education. People are urging people through the education system so they will be sooner out in the working market so they can pay taxes and you know push up the economic growth and all that shit, it really doesn't matter. I would encourage people to do something you haven't done before, um, because it might change you. And the other one is um, about entrepreneurship into the schools and that you should experiment maybe with an, a Danish idea of um, the elite school. Um, which has recruit the recruitment is based both on skills or like both on hard work and getting grades and working consistently and um, or it could be a recommendation from your boss on how you've solved a practical task um, in the spur of the moment. The education system uh, should focus more on 
the interest of people. People, you know, find you interesting when you show them interest. Kind of like, you know, a two-way conversation or connecting or what, whatever people like to call it. An example was given before today about, you know, a writer coming to an, uh, a literature class and talking about writing. It makes so much sense. People should, you know, take into consideration what makes sense. When do people learn? When do people actually listen? When do people, people remember? My message is to stimulate students and not lecture them, basically. And by lecture I mean any form of I'm the teacher and, and you're the student. Because <laughs> um, also the role of uh, how the system is built is that the teacher knows better than the students. And with that comes a fear of the, that the teacher has to know better than the student, which is not always the case when you're talking about creativity because there's no right or wrong answer. You're talking about how your perception of things and to, to do it as a test and this is right and this is wrong. Um, <laughs> well, there isn't an answer. Instead of always having the, the same, same teachers like going through the years of, of elementary school and, and, and high school, gymnasium, um, you could have artists that are actually have themselves been um, investing in themselves and, and teaching themselves how to be creative, how to be fresh and original and have, have gone through a professional education on how to be original, I would think that would be a great, great thing, great practical thing to have those people who have a profession of being interesting and being original to come to the school system and give a little examples of, of, of how to be fresh, how to be original and also to stimulate the teachers and stimulate the students. Because, because I think what, what, what I put here is you can't teach creativity but you can show examples of it. So, so you can't, there's a, it's a really, um, you can't really expect people to be creative if they've never seen anything original in their life, you know. Yeah, it would be just so nice to have really many different people coming into the school system and uh, just giving an example of what you can do in life. And uh, if you could combine that with the learning of uh, really making it like interesting and enthusiastic and really have real example of people who do things, uh, I think people could get more interested about learning.